this is what I had meant to get, but I had, what I had did is what I had did was put this in the car first, but then when I saw this, I was like, I didn't want this, I want this, and I thought I put this back, but no, I put it in the car, and then I still ended up getting this and this. And I'm gonna keep them both. and welcome to my channel my name is Deborah you guys are watching simply Deborah I hope and pray that everybody is having a fantastic day out there hello and welcome come on in and have a seat yes thank you for stopping by simply Deborah I am so grateful to have you guys I really truly truly appreciate it if this is your first time here <clears throat> excuse me choking up if this is your first time here, hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you would become a part of the family by going ahead and hitting that little red subscribe button right down below. And then don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a video. And if you are returning, hello and thank you so much for coming back. You guys know I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. Guys, today I have a haul. Yes, a haul. I know you have missed my hauls because I have missed my hauls. I have been just so busy with just life and just so much going on. But nonetheless, I wanted to come on today to do my hauls because I miss them and I love them. So guys, my first quick little haul that I have, I've been to church, came home, changed, filmed a video last night, this morning. Now I'm filming another one, total, totally separate from the other one. So this little haul right quick is <laughs> yes guys so after church I didn't need anything um going this morning on my way to church because of course I was rushing so when I got out of church I stopped and picked me up a strawberry refresher grande size with lemonade in it yum and then I have Starbucks a coffee cake so I am gonna go ahead open this up and put this in the microwave for about 20 seconds and then we are going to get into this haul that I have. I am so hungry, guys. Excuse me for one second. So, that is in the microwave. I'm going to open my straw up. Oh my God, I am so hungry. Mm. Have my strawberry refresher here let's see how it tastes mm. so good I always hate when the strawberries from the strawberry refresher break up in the drink and when you're sipping it you're sipping strawberries whole I wish it was some way they can make it without that Nonetheless, it tastes so good. Okay, so I had to get a fork. So guys, I know you're wondering, what did I get? I got stuff that I didn't need. Mmm. That coffee cake is on point. It is the best. So, I have something from Amazon. That I'm gonna open right now. Don't know what it is. I got some stuff from JC Penney's. I got some stuff from TJ Maxx. I got some stuff from Home Goods. Yeah, I just got a lot. So pull up a seat, get you some tea, soda, water, strawberry refresher from Starbucks, whatever. Mm. whatever floats your boat because this is a long haul mm. this coffee cake is heaven oh my god mm. so freaking good mm. okay enough of that right so 
Rewind. Okay, so let's start this all over. <laughs> okay, guys, so as you saw, I just opened up this box. What I got from them, from Amazon, I brought these apple cider vinegar tablets. They were $15.99. It comes with a total of 120 capsules. I was taking the liquid. I'm not gonna take the liquid anymore. I'm gonna try the tablets. Me and my husband will share these. I don't know as far as how many you have to take per day. I don't know any of that, but I'll read up on it. So my husband and I, we will share those. <clears throat> then I get, as I was stating, this pretty little phone case. Let me see, where's my phone? So, I thought this was really cute. You can stand it up on it. You can turn it to the side. You can vlog. You can do Instagram videos with this. I thought this was really, really cute. You can run the cord right through there and it comes out and you can plug it into the outlet, however, whatever you choose. So I really like this stand, guys. This was $9.99. I'm just gonna sit it right there for right now. And then I brought this dual adapter okay because why do I need a dual adapter because my phone only has one adapter it doesn't have the plug thing where you plug it in to listen to your headphones <clears throat> so when I'm at work and I'm listening to music my phone dies out so quick the battery on these iPhones really really suck if you're listening to them or you're on the phone so the battery drains really quick. So I'm like, okay, so I needed a dual, um, dual piece adapter so that I can plug it in and still listen to my sounds while the other one is still charging it. So I thought this was really, really handy. Um, this is gonna come in handy when I'm out doing whatever um, and there's an outlet that I need to charge my phone and still listen to it. I'm able to talk on the phone, be a little bit more private with my headset. So I got the dual adapter. Guys, this dual adapter was really, really, really cheap. Um, the dual adapter was $6.99. They had a, a huge variety of them. But if you're interested, I have the iPhone 10. I will go ahead and I will put this link as well down in the, um, down in the description box. So that if you're interested and you want one, you could just click right there and it'll take you straight to it. You can just click, buy, and you're done. Oh my God, talking about that buying and being done. Guys, here I heard on the news that 7-Eleven is actually have a store that is gonna be comfortable to, I guess, Amazon they're trying to do. So when you walk into 7-Eleven, I know, right? 7-Eleven, who thought that they would have such high tech? But you walk into 7-Eleven, and I don't know how it's scanned, what it's scanned, but there's going to be no clerks in the stores. You Right now they have clerks because they're trying it out. And I, don't, I forget what state it's in, but they um, have a couple of them. So maybe you're in the state that they have them in. And if you are, comment down below. Let me know if you've been to one. I would love to know how it works, what's the um, technology behind it. Very, very, very interested in that for some reason. I don't know why, but I am. Um, so yeah, so they were saying that you walk into 7-Eleven, you pick up all the items that you want. Once you walk out the door, it scans and it knows to charge you for everything that you picked up. Isn't that scary? I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, so I'm like, really? 7-Eleven? But yeah, that's what I heard in the news. So if you heard it, comment down below. Let me know. I, let me know if I didn't hear it right. But that's what it said. I was like, I was shook. I was like, oh my God. So they're competing with Amazon. Who knew? So, and then I picked up, guys, this makeup brush cleaner. I've been eyeing this and I was like, I want to give this a try and see if it really works. This is a makeup brush cleaner, portable, electronic, automatic. So it has the dish bowl, which it shows you right there, the dish bowl, you put some water in it with some makeup, that's what I forgot to get at Sephora yesterday, with some makeup cleaner. And then you, it has an attachment that it brings your um, brush around really, really fast as you pull it out and it dries once you take it out and you're able to use it again right then and there. We all know that when you 
use the brushes and you wash them out they take forever to dry i know mine's do i have to leave them like overnight to dry because i can't just reuse them you know as fast as i want to so i'm like that's a, such a bummer so i heard a lot of good reviews on here i will be giving it a try on my channel and i will let you guys know how this works so i'm so interested in knowing how this works so after this haul i'm gonna do a little video and we're gonna see how this works guys but right now i just wanted to show everything okay so that is all that i get from amazon so i have some more boxes from amazon coming i don't know where they're at but this is all that came today so i'll put this back in here and I'll sip on my little refresher. Hmm. So good. You can have some? Oh, you're more than welcome. Okay. So, the next door, I'm going to do them in the order that I went. We went to TJ Maxx yesterday, my husband and I. So, we were looking for, what were we looking for? I don't even know what we were looking for. We just went in there and I said, I'm just gonna do a little shopping. So he went and started looking in the kitchen stuff and I was like, okay. So we ended up going into the kitchen where, so from TJ Maxx, guys. Okay, I don't know if you got the last thing. So, okay, so we were shopping and we went to, I don't know how much of that that you got, but I'm gonna just start over, okay. So we went into Home Good or to TJ Maxx, and uh, my husband was like, "Well, I'm gonna go into the food stuff or into the, um, you know, kitchenware stuff." I was like, "Okay." So I started looking into makeup. You know me; I'm just looking around and um, happened to go over there by my husband, and I've been wanting one of these guys for so long. This is the Kuznar Kuznar. How do you pronounce that? Okay, that. Mm -hmm. Green Gourmet Beechwood Solid Turner, natural or finished, safe for non-stick cookware. Kuznar, Kuznar, I don't know. I know I sound like an idiot saying it. But anywho, I got picked up this wedding brush, or not wedding brush, I picked up this wedding turner. I picked up this wooden turner. Yes, <laughs> get it together, Deborah. I picked up this wooden turner and i thought i've been eyeing these and i've been wanting one for so long now so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get it i found this at tj maxx it was for two dollars and 99 cents don't know if that was a good buy or not i don't know comment down below let me know i would like to know what you think i thought it was a good deal so yeah for 2.99 a wooden little turner i'm actually going to be using it tonight when my husband and i prepare our meal so i picked up this <clears throat> You guys already know that I do a lot of complaining about under my eye, trying to get rid of the fine lines under my eyes. Okay, so you know that, right? So I was in TJ Maxx and I'm like, oh, let me go look for that, for something to go up under my eye. I, I really wasn't looking for it. I just stumbled across it. And since I stumbled across it, I was like, oh my God, what is that? And this is Skin Firming. Skin Firming Under Eye Pads, Collagen Aloe Vera. I thought aloe vera is so good for you. So you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. This is Under Eye Pads, Firm, Hydrate, and Help to Restore Delicate Skin with this Collagen. Infused Corian Under Eye Pads. When used regularly, these pads can help to soothe puffy, dark under eye circles, which I have an issue with, you already know. These pads are infused with collagen extract to help improve the appearances of skin's electricity while aloe vera soothes and calms. And then it has the directions of what you do. So I am so excited to try these. I will be giving these a try probably tomorrow, if not tonight, but I have to watch Housewives of Atlanta tonight, so I don't know if I'll be doing that tonight. So probably have to get to this tomorrow, but we shall see. So yeah, so I guess that. And then, walking around, and I stumbled across this. Next Gen Blender. Uh, this is the Creme from the Creme Shop. Creme, from the Cream, is that how you pronounce it? I'm so bad with makeup, I don't even wear makeup. I dibble dabble. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but I knew I wanted this uh, Beauty Blender. So I picked it up, it was so soft. 
Um, Creme, the, I don't know. I gotta learn these names, okay? So I don't be having to sound like an idiot with you guys. So anyway, this is a beauty blender. Um, travel friendly, seamless coverage, latex free. It was only $3.99. You go into Sephora, you're gonna be spending about $10 or into Ulta. So I'm like, you know what? I need a beauty, a beauty blender. So I'm gonna get this one for $4. So yeah, so I picked that up. Then guys, I picked up and I meant to put this back. So I didn't mean to get this, but I got it. So I might as well let you guys know because I'm not going to take it back. It was only $6. It is what it is. This is a dual action face cleansing brush. So I picked this up and I thought this was really, really cute. It has the cleansing brush right here and then it has a little scrubber one right there. Soft silicone bristles for gentle exfoliation um, for your face. So I thought that was really cute. Um, like I said, I didn't mean to get this, but I got it. And it was $6. I didn't realize it till I got home and I was like, darn it, I meant to put that back because I picked up a different one. So I was like, I really didn't want this one, but I had it anyway, so. And then guys, okay. I am finding out that TJ Maxx just has so much to offer for me. Oh my God, you're going to Target, you're gonna be spending at least $10 on a pair of socks. Guys, I get these cute Reeboks low cut socks i know ankles nobody wear long socks anymore i i love my ankle socks oh my god i wear these all year round doesn't matter what season i'm you could catch me in some of these i wear these to work because i usually wear my gym shoes and i'm walking to work and then i change out of my gym shoes once i get to work or if i have on my boots i put these on if i have on i don't even think i don't wear these with my heels <laughs> but other than that i am wearing these so I thought these were, they were name brand. So it says moisture control. This is a six pack, low cut. Guys, these were only $5.99. Where do you get Reebok ankle socks for $5.99, six pair? I'm telling you, you go into Sports Authority, you go into um, Champs, you go into Foot Athlete, um, any of those shoe stores, you're gonna be spending a, quite a bit of money for some ankle socks. You're going to Target or Walmart, you're gonna be spending about $10 on a pair of socks. So I'm like, you can't beat this. $6, heck yeah, I'll get that. So I picked up those. And then guys, I picked up, which I thought this was a nice little brush. Um, it's a precision baking um, brush. And, but I think I would like it for, to contour my nose. Um, that is what it looked like. I don't know if you can see it. That's the tip of it. But I thought this was really cute. Guys, $4. TJ Maxx has so much of a variety of brushes. Why would you go anywhere else to get any brushes and spend all of that money? Why? I'm waiting. Okay, I didn't think you had an answer, but go to TJ Maxx. Save. Why don't you, right? Four dollars. They had a variety of brushes. I mean, any kind of brush that you want, they had it there. So I'm like, I'll be going to TJ Maxx to pick up my brushes. Yeah. So guys, the next thing I got at TJ Maxx, all of this stuff I just got because I was walking around TJ Maxx, didn't need it, but I was like, I'll buy it. So I brought it. And I don't know why I brought this. Why did I buy this? This is a Tahitian vanilla bean tree hut is the name brand she sugar scrub for your body i'm like okay i opened it up in the store it did smell really really good oh, it smells so good you smell it oh, smells so good so i'm like i'm gonna try it this was seven dollars 6.99 do everything there is in 99 cents they just want that extra dollar from us right so anywho I picked this up, like I said, the name brand is Tree Hut. Um, that is what it looked like. Yep. And it is like brown with like little bees in it to exfoliate, exfoliate your, ex, exfoliate, ex, ex, uh, the, uh, that, ex, um, to exfoliate. <laughs> to exfoliate your skin, of course. So I picked this up, guys. I didn't need it. Nope, but I got it. Guys, the next thing I went, I'm walking, 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 and I'm like, what? Yeah, 
I found these. These are some toothbrush. <laughs> I change my toothbrush like every season, sometimes twice in a season. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like holding on to my toothbrushes for a very long time. The last toothbrush I brought, I actually brought at Whole Foods. It was really, really nice. So I always change out my toothbrush, like I said, at least every season four times a year and sometimes I can change it out a little bit more. It just depends when I feel like I need a new toothbrush. So I went into TJ Maxx walking around and I was like, huh, I heard so much about the charcoal toothpaste, but I've never tried it. Have you tried it? Comment down below. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know how you like it. I want to know. <coughs> Excuse me. So came across this Swissco. It is bamboo handle toothbrush. It is charcoal infused bristles. Hmm. We shall see, guys. This helps to prevent plaque, whitening teeth, which I want a whiter smile. I actually got some toothpaste from Amazon, which I'm waiting on getting here. I'll let you guys know what it is once they get here. But yeah, I ordered that too. Fight stains. I don't drink coffee or anything, but hey, anything can stain your teeth, right? Can cranberry juice stain your teeth? Although I drink a lot of cranberry juice, I don't know. Hmm. But I do drink hot chocolate, so I know coffee stains your teeth, but I don't know. But anywho, this is a adult medium. I love the medium. I hate soft bristles. Oh my God. I feel like it doesn't do anything to clean my teeth. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stand a soft bristle. I have to use medium. <clears throat> so I picked these up. This is what it looked like. Yeah. And guys, this was $6.99. So... Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. So, I picked that up from TJ Maxx. And what else did I pick up from TJ Maxx? I'm telling you, I got so much. Okay. So, the next thing I got from TJ Maxx, I don't even know what's in here. Sound like some glass. Although my husband did quite a bit of shopping as well. So, let's see what we got. I'm trying guys, I'm trying to open this up and see what we got. Oh, okay, so we picked up some plates. So I'll show you the plates before I show you the other part that I brought to go with it. I actually went into Pier 1 today and they have some similar to this, but like double the price of what we paid at TJ Maxx. So I was like, oh my God. So guys. So when I cook my meals, I would like to present them really, really nice and on a more presentable plate. So I came across these pretty white plates. I thought these were so cute. You can see the, there you go. And I love this little ripple around it and then it has those little dots on it. So I thought that was really, really cute. This is just a sticker that will be coming off. So don't worry about that. So these were $4.99. Again, I love these. So I picked those up, guys. And I picked up two because we were be plating, me and my husband plate. It's just the two of us. So why get a set, right? I don't need it. I have a set on my table that is a cream. And yeah, I didn't need it. So I didn't get it. So I picked up. Maybe I want some chili one day. So the bowl has the little ripple across it. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, the little ripple across it. I thought this was cute and it goes with the plate. So how cute is that guys? They have the saucers too, but I didn't get the saucer. I only got the plate in the bowl. I thought that was cute. And then guys, so I picked up two bowls. One for myself and one for my husband. And then I was like, you know what? We might want to sell it. I don't know, we might want to make something else and need a little bit bigger of a bowl. So I got the next size bowl, yep. And that is what it looked like and it's a bigger bowl. Yep, just needs to be washed out. This one was $5.99. And the smaller bowl was $3.99. So, I picked up one of those. And I figured that's all I needed, right? So, 
I'll put this plate over there. So I picked up two plates, two bowls. And then I picked up oh, that's weird. Oh, why is it that is so weird? Okay. Hmm. I'm scratching my head because okay. So TJ Maxx and Home Goods are directly across from each other. I don't know if they're affiliated with one another, but I'm looking at my receipt and those actually show that they came from Home Goods, but they were in a TJ Maxx bag. Shook. What's the mystery behind that, guys? Are TJ Maxx and Home Goods one and the same? Huh, didn't know. Are they? I honest to God didn't know. That is so weird. So, see, I'm not kidding. I picked up this from Home Goods. It showed TJ Maxx. Did they run out of bags and run next door and ask TJ Maxx to borrow some bags? I'm like, what? Oh my God, that is so weird. I wonder what the tags say on there. I'm really, really surprised, guys. I didn't know that. It doesn't say if it's from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. But the receipt, like I said, and this is a receipt, but the bags were in TJ Maxx. Wow, okay. So, anywho, guys, as you can see, I picked this up from Home Goods as well, but it says TJ Maxx. I thought, I did not know that they were one and the same. If you know that they are one and the same, comment down below and let me know. I never knew that. Oh my God. So, I picked up this beautiful centerpiece. I thought this was so cute for my table. Isn't this adorable? And it feels so real. I was like, oh my God, it feels so freaking real. I'm like, this is so cute. It has like the little water, like, you know, is at the bottom. And I thought this would be so cute and elegant for my diner, for my kitchen table. So I picked that up. So now, I need some yellow napkins. If you know where to find just yellow solid napkins, please comment down below and let me know. I have been looking everywhere for some yellow napkins. If you know where to send them or if you know where I can find them, please comment down below. If you would like to send me some, my P.O. box, I'll add it to this, or it's, it's in the description box, but I'll put it in this video at the end. You can send them to you can send them to me. I'll gladly take them from you. I would love that. Thank you so much in advance. So, if not, um, I guess I gotta buy my own. Okay, so, I'll have a sip of this again. Mm. Right on time. Okay, so, Let me see, I got another bag over here. Don't know if it's from TJ Maxx or from Home Goods. Okay. Since I left off with the next thing from Home Goods, I'm gonna go into Home Goods. So guess what guys? I got the Home Good bag. But I'm still so surprised at that one. I just don't know how that came out. So guys, what else did I buy? Didn't need it, nope, but stumbled across it. I got this cute little measuring cup. <laughs> I know, it's so pretty. But it has the cups on here. It has one, two, three, four, five cups, six cups. So you can put six cups of whatever you need of liquid in here to pour in whatever you're making. I thought that was nice. Then it has a lid on it. It has the cups in there and the spoons. I'm like, win, win, win situation, right? This is called Love Cupcakes. I thought this was so cute. Guys, where can you go and get this for $6? Nowhere, right? But to TJ Maxx or Home Goods, whatever it is. That's where I went. So 
got this for $6.99 at Home Goods. Then, guys, I needed, I didn't need, I just got it because I saw it. But I wanted a bamboo cutting board. I know you guys are saying, what are you gonna do with all of this stuff, Deborah? I'm gonna use it, of course. What? So, I don't need that bag anymore. I got this beautiful bamboo cutting board. Oh my God. I looked at so many cutting boards. They're so expensive. I was looking at one at home goods for like $30 and then they even have one for $70. I was like, well, a cutting board ain't gonna happen on my watch. So, I picked up this one at home goods. Guys, $14.99. Yep, there is the price. There is the price. $14.99. If you need a cutting board, go to Home Goods. This is so nice. It has the little drain thing right here. So if you're cutting something and it has juice or something in it, it won't spill over onto your counters. It'll spill right into the little cutting section, whatever that is. But yeah, guys, this is what I got. The ultimate bamboo shopping board. Love this. So guys. I picked that up. Oh my God. Okay. What else did I get? Okay. Ah, oh, a big another bag from TJ Maxx. Oh no. Okay. So what else did we do? I'll set it up here. Okay. So walking. Stumbled across this little cute little thing, this little chopper. I just thought it was cute. I'm like, huh, I would love to use that. So I got it. Don't know if I'll use it, but you know what? I am gonna use it. I'm gonna use this tonight. I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna use it tonight. It says, just squeeze and chop. Do you all own one of these? I'd I be so interested when I see things that says, as seen on TV, because I always wonder, do that really work? So we're gonna give it a try and see if it really works. Yeah, I'm interested. This is the Nutra Chopper, guys. You put whatever you have in here, your vegetables, bring it down and it's supposed to chop it up. So I'm gonna give it a try tonight for dinner. It says it cuts cucumbers, tomatoes, cheese, eggs, apples, potatoes. Oh my God, the list goes on and 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 on. You got the idea. Yeah, and on. So I picked that up. Next, guys, this was not me. Nope, this was my husband. He was like, babe, I think we need some glass bowl set. I'm like, what do we need a glass bowl set? We got so many bowls at home. He was like, you know what? I want to look presentable when I do my cooking things with you. Or when you do cooking, you can put them in clear rolls and that way you can look more professional. I was like, okay, babe. So I got them. <laughs> so guys, I picked up this beautiful glass bowl set. This is 10 pieces. It has the glass and it has the lid. You can store stuff in it. Yes. So not only is it good for presentation when you're cooking something and you have everything set out, you know what is in that bowl. You don't have to look over in it. You can look from a distance and see what's in it. Yes. I live for stuff like this. Love it. This is microwave safe. This is freezer safe. This is dishwasher safe. Guys, you can't go wrong with this. Snap lid, keep things fresh. Oh my God. The bowls can store one inside the other one. Um, they have, it's a 10 piece set, one five ounce bowl, one 17 ounce bowl, one seven ounce bowl, one 31 ounce bowl, and one 12 ounce bowl. I don't know anything about those ounces, guys, but that's what it says, okay? So we're gonna go with it. Five snap tight lids. And they all have multiple colors, so I like that. <laughs> So I thought these were cute. So when he said we get it because it's gonna look better for presentation, I'm like, okay, so we got it. And guys, ah, voila! This is what I had meant to get, but 
I had, what I had did is what I had did was put this in the car first, but then when I saw this, I was like, I didn't want this, I want this, and I thought I put this back, but no, I put it in the car, and then I still ended up getting this and this. And I'm gonna keep them both. So, this is a True Glow Reno, oh, this is by Conair too. So I'm like, name brand, huh, I'll take that. So, I thought this was really, really cute. It says, Renew, Refresh, Revive. I need that for my face. Oh my God. I have to, guys, I'm 51 years old. I have to keep my skin tight. I have to look my best at all times. Don't want to be walking around here with a saggy skin and looking like I'm just out here any kind of whipple whipple way. No, nope, don't want to do it. So I love my routine that I do with my face morning, noon, night. Yes. So I was like, you know what? I want to give this a try. This is battery operated facial brush. I cannot wait to try it. I know it's going to feel so good. So it's going to get all up in there. And I love my stuff that I use for my face. So I'm like, this is just going to make it just glow so much more. Cause I think with a hand, you can only do so much, right? I'm like with this brush, I think you can really, really get in there. So I'm gonna give it a whirlwind and we shall see how it works, guys. This is gently exfoliates is the word. The word of the day is exfoliate. Wait for it, guys. Exfoliate. <laughs> I know. So gently exfoliate to remove dirt oil, makeup, giving you a smooth, glowing, I live for a glowing skin. Yes. You want to know how much this was? Okay. I'll let you know. $14.99. I know, right? Couldn't pass this up. So I got it. That was all me, guys. It was, not my husband. And guys, everything I got from TJ Maxx, I only spent $100. I know. What a deal, what a deal, what a deal, what a deal, baby, what a deal. If they say, what a man, what a man, what a man, baby, what a man. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Where did I get this? I don't know. This is from Skin Lab. It's supposed to be a really, really good brand, though. This is Rose Water Mist. I thought, you know what, when I'm feeling tired, when I'm feeling like I just can't go on anymore, I'll just miss my face and wake up and be alive again. So I thought I'll try this. This is Rose Water Mist. <laughs> I know. Rose Water Mist. Really, Deborah? Yeah, really. I just stumbled across this in TJ Maxx. I was like, you know what? I want to give it a try. It instantly revitalize the skin, hydrates for a radiant, what, what is the word? Glow. My battery is getting ready to die, so darn it, I'm gonna have to change out my battery. I guess I'll do that right now. So you can take a brief moment and go to the bathroom and um, get you a glass of water because we have more, as you can see, yes. So I'm gonna change out my battery while you do that during this brief intermission. Please stand by. Hello and welcome back. I hope that wasn't too long. Welcome back to Simply Deborah. Guys, we have a part two. We went for a brief intermission and now we're back. Okay, so I was right here, guys. Yeah. So I picked up this Rose of Water Mist. Oh my God, it is, it says, blended with Moroccan rose oil, coconut water, and botanical asterisks. So I thought this was, I really just like the bottle and the color. Do we, are we supposed to shop like that, ladies? I don't know, but I do. So, anywho, I picked this up. $5.99. I know. I'm only saying like $5.99 is not a lot. But after $5.99, $5.99, $5.99, five, before you know it, you're at $500. Don't let it suck you in, guys. Okay. What else did I get? Guys, I know, some thongs. Nope, not the panty thongs, but the cookie thongs. I don't like panty thongs. Do you like the panty thongs? Oh my God, I hate them cracking up in your butt. No, but anyway. So guys, I 
at the cook's corner. This is the thongs. I got a large one and a small one. This was $7.99 at TJ Maxx. I don't know why I got this. I thought I needed it. Next, guys. What did we get? This was totally my husband. He got more glass containers because he wanted to be presentable or professional. He wanted to be professional when he does his cooking thing. So I'm like, okay. Guys, this was at TJ Maxx for $6.99. We walked ourselves into Home Goods. They had the same thing for $4.99. Can you believe that? I was like, babe, go get your $2 back. <laughs> he was like, I got it now, just forget about it. I'm like, okay, I'll take the $4 if you don't want it. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. So he picked up two of these. These are one cup. They're again, have the lids on them. They're glass, dishwasher safe, microwave tape, fresh. These are even oven friendly. You can bake something in the oven with these and they will not break. How cool is that? These are freezer. And did I say dishwasher? Yep, safe. So I was like, okay, $6.99, but $4.99 right next door at Home Goods. So if you want these, go to Home Goods. You'll get them for $4.99. You could be professional like my husband when he's cooking. Yes. So let me get those. What else did we get? And that is my husband. Give me one second, guys. Okay, what else did we get, guys? We got this olive oil bottle. Did we need it? Probably not. But my husband wanted to be more professional, so he got it. $3.99. It wasn't bad. But, oh, that's that drink. Oh, my God. Excuse why. So, we picked this up because my husband wanted to be more professional. $3.99, it wasn't bad. Yep, and this has a little, God, you need the jaws of life to pull it off. It has a little cap on here to keep the oil fresh. Do you like to stay fresh? I like to stay fresh, so I use body what is it called? Right guard. I don't know what kind of deodorant I use, but I try to stay fresh. I also don't use the one with aluminum in it. Nope, I use one that is medically supposed to be really, really good for you. But how did I get on deodorant? Okay. Get back in, Deborah. Yes, so we picked this up because my husband wanted to be more professional. And it has a lid with the oil. I told you you need the jaws of life to pull this thing off. Um, where this can stay fresh. Now, I've never used one of these. Although I did use them when I go to the pizza place because you know they give you the fresh bread with the olive oil in the jar like this and then you can pour it on the plate. Then you break your bread up and then you dip it on there and then you can eat the bread with the olive oil. Yeah, so anyway. So, I've never brought one of these and nor have I ever used any at anyone's house. Never looked at them to buy them. But when we looked at these, I noticed that there were two holes in it. What are the two holes for? Hmm is one where you just want it to drizzle out, but won't it overflow and come out the other end as well? I don't know. And then the other one, I, I, do you know? Let me know, comment down below. Let me know what the two holes are for. I would really, really, really love to know. So anyway, moving on, moving on. We got that. I told y'all this was a big haul. Y'all thought I was playing. I ain't even got into JC Penny bag yet. Nor have I got into Sephora bag yet. I'll do Sephora at another haul because y'all probably tired. Just stay with me another uh, 15 minutes, okay? Give me a second. So, what else did we get? I think my husband got two of those. Yep. He got another one. $6.99. So, bam, we could have went to Home goods, and he could give me back the four dollars that we could save. 
But he was like, no, I didn't need it. So he got two of these for $6.99. totally have a Sephora in there. I was like, oh my God. So when my husband was looking at JCPenney's, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna muzzle on around to Sephora and I'll be back, babe. So when I came back over there, he was like, oh my God, did you see this? Oh my God, did you see that? Oh, do we need this? Oh, do we need that? I was like, really, babe? I just went into Sephora for a minute. Came out, spent over $100 at Sephora, but that's gonna be another haul. Yep. So anyway, guys, we were looking at some curtains. My husband was like, he told me, he was like, babe, Sit right here, I'll be right back. I forgot what he went to go do. I was like, okay. So I sat there, over there by the curtains, and I'm looking and looking, and I'm like, oh, those are really, really cute. Came across these pretty curtains. So this is what the curtains look like. Can you see that? Oh my God, I cannot wait to put them up. I don't think you can see that. There they go. Aren't those cute? And then the balances, they kind of like drape up right here and right here, and then you could tie it. I thought that was so cute. And then you have the curtain part. So this is actually what it looked like. And this is for my hallway door to going outside. So we had to actually order the balance. These are the, okay, so my memory card said I had insufficient memory on there because I have used up so much. I've done so many videos. So I'm gonna have to hurry up because I just had to delete some of my stuff. So, okay, so this is the other thing that I picked up from JCPenney's, um, again, Guys, this is regular $35. I kid you not. You talk about savings. My husband paid a whopping, take a guess. Take a guess. What do you think he paid for these curtains? These are the tier, the balances we had to order. So they're actually gonna be delivered to the store. So I'm gonna have to pick those up next week. So we went ahead and got this. Um, he paid a whopping, can you see that? $3.52. Yep, $3.52, guys, right there. Tell me we don't know how to save. Huh. And you thought I was just out spending. Huh. Foolish you. Foolish you for thinking that. That was just for that. <laughs> I really did overspend. <laughs> Remember I told y'all I brought a set of the wooden brushes? What? I know. So guys, these are actually the spoons. So that piece that we got was really, really good because now I got the spoons as well. Pick these bad boys up. This is a three-piece wooden spoon set. I, could, I remember one time, y'all, I was doing something in the kitchen and my mama hit me upside the head with a wooden spoon. Yes, she did. Did y'all ever get hit upside the head with a wooden spoon? Tell the truth, shame the devil, you did. Uh, so yeah, so I got these. They were on sale. Don't know for how much. Don't know where the receipt is. Uh, I will not be putting all this stuff in the description box down below. Nope. If you're interested in something though, comment down below and let me know and I'll get back to you. This was, drum roll please. Don't know, <laughs> don't know. The ticket on here says $16. Don't know. I think I paid $12 for it, I don't know. But I did get some daisy pennies. Then I picked up this, which I have like a steel one, which is really, really good for wet stuff. And I needed one for dry stuff. So I picked this up. Did I really need it? No, but it's cute. I like it. I really do need it. I want to be more professional. <laughs> Absolutely. It was only $5.99, guys. Yes. And if you want to be, this is by Far Farberware, again with the names. So if you're interested in getting one, you can go to JCPenney's, get it for $5.99. And then, guys, my husband picked up. 
because he wanted to be what? What is the word of the day? Professional, right. So he wanted to be more professional. So he got, no, nah, he just said we needed some. So this is a six piece steak knife set. I don't know where all my steak knives went. I, I wanna ask my sons if they like eat them or something when they were living here. I had the wooden set where the knives go in it. And for some reason, all my steak knives just disappear. Do you have silverware that just disappear? Hmm, I do. So they disappeared on me. So we picked up some more. Now if these disappear, it's just my husband and I. He's gonna be guilty. Cause what do I need to take a, a, a steak knife somewhere for, really? Okay. And guys, and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the day. Okay, what did we get? We get a Baker's Rare Rack Pan Non-Stick. Baker's Rack. I thought it was really, really cool though, because it has this rack on top so you can sit stuff on it without sitting on here, then the crumbs or whatever can drop to the bottom. I don't know. He wanted to be more professional, so he picked this up. This is by Rachel Ray. I get the name right, oh my God. Yep, by Rachel Ray. Guys, this is a two-piece set. It has the cookie pan. Oh, so you can bake cookies on the bottom. Didn't know that's what it was for. Oh, so, okay. So when you know when you're making cookies and you want the cookies to cool, so you can take the cookies off the cookie rack and then put them onto the cooling rack and they can cool. Cool, right? I know, so cool. So yeah, that is what this is, guys. A beautiful champagne color. I do absolutely love the color. It looks good on me, don't it? Yes, I know. Thank you, darling. So, yeah, so that is what we got. You, wanted, you said you wanted to know what size it was? Okay. The cookie pan is 13 inches by 19 inches. And the nonstick rack is 12 inches, darling, by 18 inches. Guys, guess what? That would conclude the haul. I know. Thank you guys for joining and stopping by and just, um, yeah, seeing what we went out and brought yesterday. Things that we didn't need, but we're going to look so much more professional. I know. And my face is going to have that glow after I finish with the rose mist. Hello, somebody. I know. So, guys, that is what we have. A counter full of stuff that we didn't need. Mm-hmm. TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and JC Pennies. Yes, that's what we did. Uh huh. And we'll see you back next week for more. But no, so thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for joining in with me, seeing this professional haul. <laughs> but no, I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. If you are new, I hope you have enjoyed this haul. I hope you um, know where you can go and get your next or know where not to get your next cheap item from. But like I said, the stuff does add up. And yeah, I spent about, uh, we spent about $200 on everything on yesterday, on things that we didn't need. But it's gonna make us look more professional, darling. What? Absolutely. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go because now I'm just rambling and I don't have a lot of memory on here so I don't even know why I'm rambling. But I'm gonna go ahead and go. My next haul will be of my Sephora because that's too much for this one. So if you wanna see the Sephora, make sure you stay tuned and make sure you click that notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload it. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, yes. So guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening because I am gonna go. I have like a couple of more videos to film. Yes, I have a cooking video to film. Yes, and I have a Sephora film. A Sephora video to film, yes I do. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go, close this video out. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I so greatly appreciate it. Please become a part of the family by hitting that little red subscribe button. Also, please do not forget to hit that little 
notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a video. And if you are returning, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. I so greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys. Until the next one, stay tuned. And as we always say, love, peace, and happiness. Deuces. And we're out. <laughs> I just wanted to come back and do that. I'm back. The worst thing about buying all this stuff is now you got to put it up. It's like grocery shopping. When you buy it, you're excited. You get it home and it's like, oh, do I really got to put this stuff up? That's the worst thing about buying stuff. But now I got to find a spot to put all of this stuff that we didn't need. But we're going to look what? More professional.